thanks for stopping by and we'll go ahead and I'll start the second video on how to do this. So here we go. Alright. We're still going. So alright, here we go. What you wanna do is click on that right there where the TH is, hit the tab key, and that white little cursor shows up. So, back up. No, I don't want this. I don't like this one. Oh, we'll scratch that. This is not the one I want to use. Back over here. I'll go to this one. I'll go to this one because then you that way you guys can see this a lot clearer. All right, I'm gonna click on that. Right click, and then you'll see this here. Then you know you hit it. Hit tab. Hit the um, tab button and the backspace that's just above enter. All right, you got that deleted. Then you come over here. Oh, wait a minute. You got to hit the tab key again for the cursor to go away. Come over to the 20, right click, hit the tab key again. Backspace and delete that, and I'm gonna put vitiate it. Vitiate it. It's how to. All right. You hit the tab key again. Don't worry about the size. It looks kind of crazy, but don't worry about the size just yet. Go down to the next line. Hit the tab key again. Okay, then I'll go back and hit the tab key again, and then you can see that. And then go down here, because I'm going to do all three of these. Right click again, and then it highlights. Hit the tab key. And hit the tab key. All right, now you can take and remove these if you want to. Just right click on them and you can move them, delete them, what have you. I'm not messing with it. You can play with that and see what you want to do with it. So, what you want to do is go back up here to the top because now we're done. Right click on it. See where my cursor is right here that I'm moving around. There's a red line and a green line. There's a red dot at the beginning of the red line. Touch that red dot and move it this way. You can move it inward or outward, whichever way you would like. It's totally up to you. OK. 
Okay. And there's a blue line that's going up and down here. You can't see it in my video, but there's a blue line. Yeah, you can over there. If you look to your right, where the 3D thing is, there's a blue line or a black line on this side, and that's the center. This circle right here, that's in the, I'm moving my cursor around, that circle is your center of your words. So to move this, right click on one of the letters and hold it. And then you can position the word wherever you want it. Like I just did. See? Back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. Up, down, left, and right. Okay, when you get it where you want it, right click again. Or no. Left click. Then it stops. If you right click, it sends it back to the beginning. And as you can tell, I got it right where I want it. And then you take this green one here, that green one with the green line with the green dot, and you go down. You got to keep in mind, you got to keep it within where you can see this right here. It's got to stay within this square where you can see it. Because if not, it's going to make it kind of goofy looking and it's going to be a little bit bigger than what you want. Okay, now I'm going down to the bottom. I click on it, then I right click. And then I take the red line with the red dot and I squish it where I want it. And then I take, the, I ain't touching the green one because I want it the height I want it. And move that right there. And then I got that. All right, now it's time to do the technical. Go up here, if this is how you want it to look, go right here, in this little corner right here, you may have a camera there, you may not. I don't, I got, it says view, it's the very top bar line, to the right of this 3D thing. So go to view, or you can click, tap on alt, letter A, and watch your 3D rendering. And you'll see the lights when the production is done here. But all these little things up here are just mimicking what the lights will be. Okay, now that we got what we want, click that. You go over here, and then there's a, um, the output right here in this little area. If you click it to where it's um, vertical, you look for the output, you click on the tab that says output, you go down here, it may or may not have anything. It may say H.264 or it may say JPEG, whatever it says, it has to be movie, you go over here to where it says movie, and it could be AVI RAW or H.264. That's HDMI. So I would go to the H.264. Let that be. Go up here. Because it's going to ask you for output, where to put it. So you click on this. And then it's going to ask you where you want to put it. You're going to have to do this every time. So what I did was I stuck it somewhere else. I stuck it with all my other stuff. Okay. I'm sticking this in my... Wrong one. I gotta go back. I don't know why I did that. Back over here. My Vichy It's How To folder. 
and that's where I'm sticking it. You can stick it anywhere. Go up. It'll say up here the folder you stuck it in. Just underneath that, you click that. It's empty. What you need to put is the name of the intro. If not, it's going to give you a whatever name it gives you. And then the next one you make, if it goes in the same place, it's going to give that one the same name. And then it's going to overwrite it. So you need to take and give each one of your intros a name so that way it doesn't overwrite the other one. So I'm putting... This year it is how to... Intro. Okay. So we got that. You want to go over here to the right corner. It's hard to see because I got a 50 inch TV that I'm using for monitor. Go over here. See where my mouse is? It says accept. You click accept, and then we're all good for that point. Okay. Then you go down here. Back to this here. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on animation. And what this does, this will animate this. Now I can't stress this enough of how important this is. What I'm about to explain to you. And I'm going to show you why I'm explaining it to you. Before you hit animation here. You need to exit out of everything you're doing on your computer. Everything you're doing. You should only have this program open. You should have nothing else. No other windows, no Internet Explorer, none of that. Because this is going to eat your system's resources up. You're, it's going to kind of stress your um, processor out and it's going to stress your memory out. Because this is a video encoding. It's what you're doing. Just like what a DVD if you're burning a DVD or whatever yeah. it's going to use a lot of resources so I'm going to show you how much resources it uses yeah. and then I'm going to explain to you like they didn't explain in the other ones how long each frame will take each frame will take a certain amount of time depending on your computer my computer is a um, a three point six six quad core with eight gigs of memory it's not a real fast computer but it it'll do pretty good it takes about four to six hours for me to make one of these this is my second or third attempt but it took me a long time to figure it out so mine only take that long but I will show you in a second here so enough of the talking let me do this Okay, now I hit animation. Now again, you gotta make sure you ain't got nothing else running. You go up here. My little mouse is running around right here. You go up here. It says frame time. Depending on how fast it'll be, it's depending on what your 3D rendering is, what it says. Okay, like this here, it's going to fill up this whole thing, and I'm going to let you watch this whole entire thing. And then I'll tell you how long it took. You can also see the process over here and the percentage. Where it says rendering, and then there's a little box here, and there's a percentage there. It's at 43% in 54 seconds. That time will be off a little versus the real time, which you can kind of use the time here as a given. It says a minute and 21 seconds. You ain't been watching this for a minute and 21 seconds. It's probably been about 60 seconds. So you take the 60 seconds that I have times 600, which is how many frames this is. And then that'll get you your time 
for your specific, yes, I said specific, not Pacific, your specific intro. Okay, now I'm going to show you what it's doing to my computer. And if you want to see that, you hit Control, Alt, Delete. And it brings up Windows Task Manager. And as you can see, my little thing here is my CPU. And it's maxing that motherfucker out. I mean, it's maxing. But it'll do that the whole time it's doing each frame. And then when the frame is done, it goes back down. And if you're not careful and you're doing a whole bunch of stuff at the same time, you're going to get my favorite thing called the blue screen of death where it just crashed your computer and you got to start all over. So I suggest you listen to me. Because if you don't, you're going to be starting over a lot. Or it's going to do something else if it doesn't give you the blue screen of death. It's going to corrupt your, vid your intro to where it's going to be all fuzzy and glitchy. And you may have a glitchy little things, the one of the lights be flickering or whatever, because whatever you was doing interfered with that frame. So it's best just to... Listen to what I gotta say and do it. It's not gonna stress out your memory, but you gotta have at least eight gigs of memory or it's gonna take forever. I have eight gigs and it uses half of it. This is my memory and you see how much it's using. It's using four gigs off the jump. So that's where that's at. And I wanna thank you for stopping by. If there's any questions I can answer, just, um, Type them in the comments, and I'll do my best to check them daily. And this is the best way I can figure out how to do this intro. The other 20th Century Fox intros are the same way. So I'm not going to make a video of each one because they're done. it's exactly the same. And you don't need nothing. This is completely free. Everything I downloaded is free. Completely free. The other one, other videos, I don't know if they're free or not. I haven't got to those intros yet, but this is where that's at. So thank you for stopping by, Vitiate It's How To, and I hope this helped you out because it took me forever to figure it out. Thanks again for stopping by.